Okay, so this is the uh, Roland SRM20, but in Fusion uh, we refer to it as the MDX40. Now the cutting tools are these ones here, and uh, they're very, very sharp, and they've got a tiny, tiny little point on them. And what we've got to do is we've got to be really careful, A, not to cut ourselves, and B, not to, uh, not to snap that tip off. Okay, so uh, just put it there. Uh, for the drilling, we do have lots of drill bits. Again, going from absolutely tiny to a uh, mill and a half. Now, the one we'll use is the light blue one, and that should be enough to get some of the thicker components through. Uh, doing it too small means that you just can't get the thicker uh, the legs through the holes, and doing it too big actually just tears up all your track. Now the next thing we use is uh, the Allen key here. Now we've got the, um, the bed here. Now the bed can actually move. Go to the desktop, V panel for SRM, and that's the one. And then what we can do is click these. And we hold the copper. We try not to hold it there. Acid in my hand is actually eating away at the copper already. Uh, so. We're going to use, um, I'm going to use a scrap piece that I've been testing on and I'm going to put this in like so and I'm going to just take that cam and just push that down and then tighten that and this one, like I said, it's a little bit small so I'm just going to use a piece of scrap put that in and just use that to uh, wedge it against the side and all we're doing is we're just stopping this from sliding. Okay, well the next thing to do is to bring that tool so that it's uh, in the corner and then what we're going to do is something called zeroing. Okay, so to zero we need to be uh, looking at two things. We need to be looking at the point. We also need to be looking at the panel. So the idea is to move the bed so that the cutting bit is at zero zero that's the bottom left hand corner then lower the z-axis until it is just touching the uh, copper bed but you don't have it tightened up you tighten it up after it's touched and that should give you a complete zero zero because we now know that the copper uh, is being touched by the tool we can now set the origin point for us to zero and we go z zero so what's left is click the, the button cut and load your machine code, then press output. And what we're looking for is just um, a decent line that isolates the track from the rest of the board. You should have a relatively deep but clean uh, groove. So the next part is to drill it and in order for me to do that is to move it to the surface first. We don't change the, the origin points. And I'm going to put the allen key in and let that uh, cutting bit come out gently. Okay and that's come out now. And now we're going to take the uh, the drilling tool again very very carefully because it is pretty sharp and let it touch the bed and then tighten it. We'll zero the Z. And raise it up but we won't zero the XY because we want the XY to be exactly the same so uh, we'll go to cut and this was the um, this was the drill file So, lid up, gently 
Undo those, not too much. We'll just keep that here somewhere. Okay, and there we've got the circuit and the holes. Okay, so another dangerous part here is the guillotine. You'd be really careful with this. It's got a guard. Don't remove the guard. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the copper in and then just release the safety mechanism. And, and cut that clean. Well, you're not actually done yet. Um, you've got to solder that. Now remember that this is the reverse, so actually you're soldering on that side. So this is the time where you start labelling things very, very quickly before you forget. 